Mr. Vice President, this statement is made on behalf of Global Action for Trans Equality and was drafted in collaboration with trans and gender diverse activists from Global South and East. We applaud the comprehensive report highlighting barriers that LGBT individuals face exercising our fundamental freedom of expression and assembly. We commend the focus on legal restrictions, hostile environments, and instrumentalization of LGBT rights driven by anti-democratic political forces to distract from entrenched economic and political issues. For trans people, barriers start when our identification documents do not align with our gender. It strongly impacts our ability to express ourselves and exercise our fundamental rights, such as the right to education healthcare, housing, employment, and freedom of movement. The lack of state registration with the correct gender marker was detrimental to receiving crucial and adequate care as a trans man living with HIV and served as a precondition to exercising my right of expression and assembly. The right to legal gender recognition is paramount as it is the foundation for other human rights. Therefore, we urge member states to adopt legal gender recognition laws based on self-determination, repeal laws and policies restricting LGBT freedoms and criminalizing of our lives, combat hostile rhetoric and political manip manipulation by anti-rights and anti-gender groups. Independent expert, we ask you, do you view, how do you view the role of, of collaboration between civil society and our mandate in ensuring the right of trans people to legal gender recognition. Thank you.